So, here's that awkward moment. I feel like I say this every time, but here's that awkward moment where we wait for people to join, and I know I'm just like a couple minutes late here, but I was like, I got caught up in what I was doing, which I will hopefully be able to give you guys a teaser. But first, I wanted to pull up the chat on my screen. Let's see. So that I can see you guys and respond to you and all that good jazz. So, okay. All right. I think we are good. Let's see. Okay. All right. So, we are here. Hello. Um, I'm Tori from Club Soda Creative Planning. I try not to forget that, but I do most of the time. <laughs> um, okay. So... Today's video is, I had said today's video was going to be about um, book journaling. So, originally my plan was to do a book journal spread, that's backwards, um, for Whisper Waves by Blake Black because I am behind on my book journal and... I need to get caught up and I was saying, oh, I need to do that because that'll be really fun. But then I thought, okay, that is our um, book of the month for the Patreon book club. And since we're getting together at the end of the month to talk about it, I don't know if everyone's read it yet. But So I'm like, oh, we're going to hold off. Um, so then I'm, I was like, okay, well, what are we going to do instead? And Anne's here. Um, so I was like, what are we going to do instead? If we, if we can't do that, do, what do we want to do? So someone gave me the, su the suggestion to tease you guys with the upcoming book journal options for quarter two and like what I'm going to be using. And so that's kind of what we're going to do. I was not sure if I wanted to give teasers so soon, but I... I really want to because I'm super excited. Not everything's ready, so I'm going to give you teasers for what is ready. And, uh, okay, so Anne said, so pretty, and she was looking at this. So this actually hit the shop today. This came from a custom request. Someone wanted a neutral-ish, um, like, decor kit for posting about, like, her book stuff. So, this is what I came up with for that, and this is called the Book Journal Babes, I think, yeah, Book Journal Babe Decor Kit. So, it is in the shop this morning. It's in the the regular, like, blog shop. I haven't put it in the Etsy shop. Y'all, I'm so behind on getting the Etsy shop caught up to the blog shop. Uh, I mean, more of you guys are shopping on, through my website anyways, so I just, I, I'm a little behind, but hopefully this will go up today. But this is the Book Journal Babe Decor Kit, and it is so pretty. So it comes with, you know, like a bulletin board, some little, little push pins, the keyboard. This is a Kindle overlay or, you know, an e-reader. Let's not take names or whatever. And then there's a square one and then like this regular tablet one. And then we've got, is that where that was? No, okay. And then we've got like a clipboard and a highlighter and like, you know, audio book lovers, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, oh, and said it's weird because I created tomorrow's layout already. Of course you did because you're ahead of things. And I used the Chic Coffee Lover and it would match what I did. Yes, it would totally match that. It would match so good. You need this. It really would. It really, really would. So, this pattern, if you've noticed this pattern before, I don't even think I have it on my iPad right now, but this pattern also shows up in the um, the Smitten Kitten collection. And there's a, if this color scheme works for you, there is a, um, a mini kit for the Smitten Kitten. I don't even think I, I like I said, I, you know, I'm still recovering from that that one where it like shut everything down, the good notes crashed that I had. So I haven't even pulled everything back in because like some of my older sets are missing. Um, yeah, so I don't even have that. I do have the Chic Coffee Lover and yes, it would totally go good with this. It would go so good with this. It's not the same uh, plaid as this one. Where's that at? 
it's not the same as this, but oh, it would it would go so good. It oh yes. It, see now I want to use this set today. And what are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? Okay, so yeah, so this see oh, now I want to do this with that other plaid for like maybe like a darker look. Oh, maybe. And what are you doing to me? All right, y'all remind me that I said that because I'll forget by the time we're done with this live stream. So, okay, so this is the Book Journal Babe decor kit is up in the shop this morning. <laughs> Don't apologize for sparking ideas and come on. Oh, did y'all hear that? That's my Amazon Echo in the kitchen. Okay, so I don't even know where to start. Okay, this is, so we're talking about book journaling and we're going to do some teasers. This is the book journal that I'm using right now. I'm going to get this out of the way. Come on. Go away. Close. So this is the book journal I'm using right now. And I really, really love it. Um, but one thing that I was asked about, and if you're not in the, the Patreon book club, um, we had our book journaling Zoom at the beginning of the month. And uh, me and Katie were talking about like another book journal option for quarter two. And so I do have a teaser. It's not completely finished right, right now, but it hopefully will be finished by this weekend, the end of the weekend, maybe. I don't know. I don't, know. don't hold me to that. But um, one thing that I really loved about this is hey, Suki. Hey, Katie. Hey, Erin. Um, so one thing I really loved about this newest version of the book journal is that when you click on a day, it takes you to that page. And then, obviously I'm behind, um, then I can, you know, do a page about that book, right? And let me just update this while we're here. So this is one of the things that I had in my very, very, very first book journal. And I absolutely loved it because it meant that I could just go right to the book that I needed to journal about. And as you can see, I'm behind for this month. And I'm behind, y'all, I'm behind on everything this month except for quarter two bundles because that has been like nearly my sole focus is getting those bundles out and like got some good stuff going on with that. So I'm behind on everything. But this whole, you know, like links to a daily page thing is one of my favorite features about this. And so when we did our book journal Zoom, um, the other day, me and Katie were talking about it, and it's like, I need a new one, a new version for quarter two, because, you know, why not have a new version every time, right? So, the new version, I'm going to keep this, you know, go, oh, I clicked you. I'm going to keep this, um, this look. I mean, not this look, that, that functionality, that same thing, but oh, we are going with this style. So this is a new one. It's, I'm not done with it, obviously. Clearly, I'm not done with it. Um, but we're going to go with this style where, like, you click on the, the little daily boxes and it'll take you to a blank page. And that way you can have, like, you know, you still have that same linked thing. And this will give you, like, another neutral background type of thing. Um, and you may recognize this style. It's the same one that I did for the quarterly journals, which, yes, I'm behind on that, too. Like I said, I'm behind on everything. But so it's the same sort of style, like this, the canvas book style that you guys seem to love so much. But I did it for the this new book journal. So it's, it's going to come in different color options. We're going to start out with the black and the teal and the pink, obviously, because that's what we've been doing with these. But I'm also going to throw in a couple of colors to go with the Q2 collection in case you just really love it, right? Um, but I'm super excited about this. I, I haven't got this page done, but, um, you know, the TBR list, got to have that, right? And just to show you what mine looks like, because you don't have to go super fancy with that. Like, you don't have to go super detailed. Mine, the way I do my TBR, right, at least in my book journal, is... When I have um, a book that I can't get to right now, uh, which these in black are the ones that are like regular books, and then the pink and the teal, those are um, advanced copies of books that, that I'm going to be reading or have already received. 
So if I can't get to it, then I'll take, um, let me make sure image is not selected. So I'll take this and I will just cut it and go to my want to read. I'm calling it the TBR and the other one, but want to read. And then I just paste it here. And oh, why does it always want to go to this stupid pen? I swear. Stop it. Paste. Thank you. So I'll just paste it here as like a reminder of like, hey, I need to read this. And I really have no rhyme or reason where I stick these. I'm just kind of like grouping authors, I think. This is essentially what I'm doing. But this is as far as I go with my TBR these days. I used to go more detailed. Um, now what I will do is once I read one of these books, then I'll swap out the note for the cover and add like a star rating because, of course. Um, but sometimes like I might turn this into like a link back to Amazon so that I can like grab the book. Just, oh, I need to read this. In yeah, goes to Amazon, right? But honestly, this is as far as I'm going with my want to read list here. I have more in my Notion. Um, but yeah, so the reason why I bring that up is because Lex, shout out to Lex, she shared hers in our team chat the other day. And it looked so beautiful because she went full on detail. And it's like, oh, I love that. Mine looks like this. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty basic. But, you know, to each their own. Go with what works for you, right? So, all right. So, this is where I'm at. Why does it do this? Does anyone else notice, notice this? Where it goes, like, dark? Like, I don't know why. Um, but another teaser. This is our challenge in the Patreon book club. We went with, like, a Women's History Month edition of our thing. And this is how I'm doing mine. I'm not done, obviously. I need to add another book um, because I just started this one yesterday. So I'm just going to stick this over here for now. And I'll do the same little, little da, 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 thing. And we'll move it later whenever I know what I want to tag it with. So, but this is my thing. Um, let's see. Uh, Aaron says, um, do you have a good notes account off a good reads account off? <laughs> of course I do. Of course I do. Let's see, where did I put that? Is it here? No. Here? Here. I do have a good reads. I do keep up with good reads. Um and I can drop a link in the description afterwards for my thing. Like I don't know how to see like how do you go to your profile on the app? The app is different than the thing. Oh, wow, that's an old picture. That is not the picture that's up there now. Don't look at that. That is just crazy. Snapchat filter. Okay, so see, I updated that. Um, yeah, so you can check out my, my Goodreads. I'll drop a link in here. Um, wow, that's a lot of books. Damn, that's a lot of books. That is a lot of books. Okay, yeah, so I can drop a... Uh, thing in there because you can see like my reviews and stuff like that but yes I do have um I do have the the Goodreads app and I use that um I don't think I use the iPad version very much obviously because I feel like I'm floundering here but I've used it on my phone and my computer a lot um here it says I wrote good notes first no, yes I write that all the time I even there's an episode of the podcast um, like the book podcast on Patreon where I said good reads. I mean good notes instead of good reads. Damn it. Like whoa. words are hard. Where's my coffee? Gosh, I get those mixed up, right? Mm. Saying that all the time. I get it mixed up. Um Suki says I don't understand good reads. I love good reads because you can go through here and like if you find a book, like one, if you stalk somebody, like let's say we're you know, you stalk me or something. And where was that at? Go back to my, why is it showing that? Let's say you stalk my Goodreads, right? And you're like, oh, well, wow, look at all these books. I want to like read these books too. So like you go to a book and then you can add it to want to read or you can add it to like you've already read it or whatever. Um, oh, Erin says, I win books from Goodreads sometimes. That's always exciting. I've never won a book from Goodreads. How cool is that? 
Um, but with Goodreads, you can, like, find books everywhere. And then you can, like, go to an author and see all their books that they've done and, like, add them to, like, you want to read it and then, you know, or you have read it. You can track, um, let's see. You can track, like, you know, my reviews here. I can, if it's a book from, like, a like a regular book from, like, Amazon or something like that, like, it'll track your highlights and you can see them there. I read a lot of advanced copies of books straight from authors or, um, or PR firms, so those don't automatically link up, which is kind of annoying. But, um, but my my Kindle, my actual Kindle, if I'm reading a book on my Kindle, like I can connect it to um, to Goodreads. Let me see if it shows it here. Da, da, da. Yeah. So see, it's like Mark is currently reading on here and so like when I get to the end of the book and I like rate it then it automatically connects to my Goodreads so it will mark like when I started reading it and when I finished reading it you can set like a reading goal for the year let's see or a reading challenge so my challenge I did uh, I said 150 books and I it says I'm 22 books in but I think I've got a few more like that didn't connect to Goodreads or like that's not on Goodreads. But you can do like past challenges. Like last year I said my challenge was a hundred books and I read 130. Um so it's really it's it's really cool to keep up with, you know, all your books. Like this is how long I've been doing a reading challenge, which is kind of fun to see. Um like 2015 I set a challenge for 50 books and I read 102. <laughs> so uh yeah oh i only did 89 that year oh, only 89 books like <laughs> measly 89 um my most let's see this was 183 books in 2019 that was a, that's a lot of books that's a lot of books so goodreads is like really cool to like track like all of your books like i can come in here and like in Goodreads, I've tracked uh, 1,321 books that I've read. And it goes back, like, a really long time. Like, you can sort it by uh, dates read. Let's see. Come on. Okay, so see dates read, and, like, you can see my reviews. I used to not post reviews unless it was for an ARC, but now I'm trying to post reviews for, like, everything. Um... Which, most of my books are ARCs anyway, so that's, you know, not a big deal. But, like, you can see all of this, which is pretty cool. But that's, like, a lot of books. There's a lot of books in here. Oh, Brittle Heart. It's a good one. So, yeah, these are all ARCs that I've read. That, I mean, that's that's a lot. I wonder why this one doesn't have a cover. That's weird. So, yeah, lots and lots of books. So... This is a fun way to, like, let's say, you know, Caitlin Dare. You click on a book and you're like, oh, like, here's Caitlin Dare. Here's all of her books. And you can see which ones you have and haven't read. Um, I need to get caught up on some of her past ones, right? Um, let's see. So he says, so it's kind of like tracking what you're reading and want to read. Yes, you can track all of that. Um and then Aaron says, good for tracking your reading goals. Um, Aaron says, I love to read reviews of books right after I finish them. Yes, after I finish them. I don't like to read them, like, before because I'm so afraid it's going to, like, like, bias my opinion. And so when I write reviews, because I've been doing, you know, more and more reviews, and I've been including them in, like, the library section of my website... So, like, if I go to my library and monthly reading, let's just look at this, for example. Let's go to February, because those are all done. Um, like, I've started including my book reviews in this section. To, oh, go away. Um, so, when I write my reviews, I try to, like, do it in a way where it's not, it's not going to spoil you. Um, but I do, like, kind of like a little summary, like, what is this book about? And then what I thought about it. 
So if you, you know, but you can ignore those. But like if you if you're going here, you can click on the book and it takes you to Amazon where you can get it. Um, but I'm hesitant about reading reviews until after because I don't want it to like ruin my opinion or sway my opinion. Um, but since I have to write these reviews for the advanced copies of books, I thought why not include them on my website. So now I've got to go back and adjust my previous pages because I, you know, I want, I love this look now with their, with all the reviews on there. So I need to do more book journaling, obviously. Um, so yeah, um, Aaron says it's not creatively satisfying like book journaling. Totally true. Which is why I created my very first book journal, uh, by the way, just in case you didn't know that, because I was only using Goodreads before, and then it was just, I mean, you see it, it's not exactly, like you said, it's not creative, you know, obviously, but, so that's why I created my very, very first book journal, um, but Aaron says, but it is convenient to put your info in quick and have a reference when you can sit down and uh, down to book journal. Yes, because you can go in here and be like, okay, what are the stats on this book? Why is it so slow? Like, if I go here, you can see, um, like, the book details. So you can see that. And you can, there's like a preview. Um, some of these, oh, see, look, it actually has like a preview. And you can link back to, did I say go back? No, I did not. Thank you. Um, what? Okay. Well, that's weird. I I think the app is just not nearly as good as the iPad app. I feel like the the my phone app works better than the iPad app, maybe. I don't know. Um I know on the on the uh computer version or the website version, browser version, whatever you want to call it. There's a link where you can, like, go and get it on Amazon from here. But I don't see that. I mean, I see share. What is that? Oh, I don't want to do that. Um, but, yeah. I don't know. I, I like Goodreads, but, you know, it's not creative like book journaling is. Um, Aaron says, especially if it's a popular book that everyone seems to love on Book Talk. I just didn't. And it helps see um, what other people have the same issues I do. Yes. I love reading reviews after I've written the book. Oh, not written the book. Damn. I mean, I have written books that I've never finished, but whatever. That's a whole other thing. Um, but yeah, the I don't want it to spoil me, but if I have, like, an issue or really love something or really hated something about the book, then I want to see what other people are reading. Um, I feel like when I read a book, the most likely location for me to go to check reviews <laughs> is what other people um have left so like mandy uh like she got the arc for this book too so of course i want to go read her so if you're friends with someone on goodreads then you can see the friends ratings for books if they also read the book so i can see hers and i can see mine and be like oh well you thought this but i thought that you know so that's fun because you can, like, have friends on um, on Goodreads. So, I will link mine in there. It, so, if anyone wants to come hang out with me in Goodreads, you know, and check out shared books or whatever, that's cool. Um, what else? What else? Okay. Um, okay. So, I teased you with this. So, this will be a new book journal that will be available sooner rather than later for quarter two and we're gonna do that same sort of thing these are this is my brainstorming of like adding links because like the current book journal has like these things where you've got like your challenge and like your overview which I have not filled out um, calendar board um, I did do a board for February um, if I go to February I did end up doing a board there so that was fun that was fun um, my challenge for February, I don't even, oh, not, no, challenge. I didn't even finish this, so I may not finish it. I may just leave it as is, and this is as far as I got with my notes, and add some decoration and call this done. Um, because I started out writing little blurbies for some of these books, 
And then I didn't finish it, but I kind of don't want to finish it. So I think I may just like throw some decorations on here and call this page done. <laughs> like I'm not trying to pressure myself to make every page fully complete or fully pretty. That I'm just not going to do it. I just, I don't have time for that. <laughs> and then January, this is how this one turned out. I didn't do a board for January. I did do a challenge. This was my challenge one. Um, I'm including the book of the month for a Patreon on the challenge board just because it's there. Technically, this month I had already read it. And then this month I've already read our book of the month. So I've got to figure out where I want to stick it on here because it, I didn't read it here like during the month. But I do like to include it because I just think that that works. Um, okay, this is just a weird, random, funny fact. But like, so our our theme for our challenge in the book club right now for March is, you know, Women's History Month edition. So it's all, you know, female empowerment and all that kind of stuff, right? But one of the books I read was um, an M.M. romance. So I'm like, where do you stick that? There's like no female empowerment there. So I stuck that one on the free space <laughs> because I'm like, that doesn't fit. So, but I still want to include it because I read it and it was so good. Um, so it got the free space. <laughs> I'm glad I put the free space on there because otherwise I don't know where I'd put it. Um, okay. I feel like I'm gearing up for the biggest teaser yet and I'm honestly I'm a little nervous to share this with you guys but this was one of the requests for a teaser for the next book journal okay so this is a book journal that's coming but there is another one and it goes along with the quarter two collection I'm super excited about the quarter two collection you guys I'm like Okay, so you're getting early teasers. I was not planning early teasers, but are you ready for some early teasers? Before we look at the next book journal for the new collection, are you ready? Oh, I'm so excited. First off, I'm building up the tension here. Okay, so the color scheme. If you watched last week's video and you saw like a little tiny teaser, little, little tiny teaser, the color scheme for quarter two, if anyone had ever told me I'd be going with this quarter skin, this color scheme, I would have been like, no, you're fucking crazy. But I'm obsessed with it. It's not my usual colors, so it's just not at all. But I love it so much. So here's a teaser. Watch it. No, okay. Here's a teaser. This I'm doing time tracking this week, and I'm playing around testing out part of the new product line for quarter two and so this is a teaser <laughs> if anyone had ever said I'd do these colors I'd be like no you're crazy I would not do these colors but I love them they're so pretty <laughs> they're so pretty and look at this pattern that I made it's so pretty I just please tell me you guys like these colors because I I just oh my gosh okay another one because of course I had to like okay and thank you Anne for some validation here Anne says it's so pretty I love these colors and they aren't my usual either right Erin says I love it I just did a painting with similar color palette nice I have to see this Erin please do share um and Suki says very beautiful thank you okay so another teaser because like I said this is the time of the quarter when I'm like getting all these products ready for you guys so that means I'm testing them out, seeing what I like, preparing teasers. So you want to see my weekly spread? So technically this is my weekly spread, but there's another weekly spread. Mm, it's so pretty. Look at it. Oh, it's so pretty. I just never imagined doing these colors, but I love it. Love it. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. It's so pretty. I just... I just love it. Love it. Okay, so this side of the page obviously looks better than this side because it's not done yet. I need to make these pretty. I'm thinking about doing just like one big strip and then doing like little boxes of colors over here to like do that. But <laughs> I just love it. And if you're curious what the page looks like without all of my stuff, it looks like this. 
So, you know, we got some basicness going on. But then, ugh, look at it. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I just, I know I'm like geeking out over here and I can't help that. And like, I know some people aren't going to get the super ridiculous excitement I get over stuff like this. But I feel like most of you will. So, um, okay. Uh, Suki says, wow. Erin says, the honeycomb, yes. Isn't that cute? So technically, just for another little teaser, this is one sticker. One sticker. But I love the honeycomb so much that that is, uh, you can, that's in the book too. Just the honeycomb in a few different colors just because I just loved it so much. Um, yes. Love it. Right? Um, Let's see, Anne says, any chance of a chunky spiral? Okay, are you thinking vertical or horizontal? Because this weekend, I'm finalizing my list of all the planners that I'm... I've got multiple planners in the works. I've got several already done for the new collection, and I've got several that are started and haven't been finished yet. So if you have something that you've seen like in the shop before and you want like a version of that in the new collection, let me know. So that I can make sure it's on my list because this weekend I'm finalizing the list of what's going in the um, the month one bundles. Now that doesn't mean it won't show up in the shop later. Like if you request it and I don't get it finished on time. Um, but like let me know what your list is so that I can get that ready. And uh, <clears throat> so and if you're wanting a chunky spiral because I know that you're like really loving the um, I think you're still in Boho Beauty. Um, right? I think. Um, I think, I don't know why, how do I know these things? Cause you post and I love your post, but let me know if you're thinking vertical, horizontal, both, whatever. I don't know. So, <laughs> okay. So here's the other teaser. Okay. Anne says, uh, vertical, like the pretty pink one from quarter one and the one from Boho. I love the chunky spiral. Okay. All right. Vertical. Okay. All right. Y'all help me remember that. Um, Okay, because I've uh, got to get my list, right? I'm going to look. I'm just going to write right here. I'm going to write another typical spiral. So, whoa, that's a mess. But that I just don't want to forget it. Um, okay, so the other teaser, since we're talking about book journaling stuff, is... Where is it at? Oh, here? Okay, so here's another teaser of one that I'm working on. For, well, I say working on, technically this particular one is done. But I, I have teased you guys, like, in different places about doing a Big Fancy 2.0. And that's what's happening. That is what you see here. And that is what you see here is a Big Fancy 2.0. This is going to be your first teaser. I'm not going to go fully in detail because next week, uh, next week's live stream... We're looking at everything that's coming out in the bundles, so you'll get to see more then. But one thing I did for the Big Fancy 2.0, it's not the same setup as the, the first version that we had for the classics. Um, so it's a new setup. And this is one of the planners in it. And, oh, look at it. It's so good. So the way the Big Fancy is going to work, the new one, and let me know if you, you know, your thoughts on this. But this is, oh, I can't believe I'm showing you this. This is the the new Big Fancy, the Big Fancy 2.0. Um, because I listened to some of the things that you guys said, some feedback that, like, I love your feedback. Thank you. Keep giving, giving those to me. So in the new Big Fancy 2.0, the cover gives you more space to, like, decorate some open space here. You've got a main planner, which is like what you saw, um, what I used. So this is your main planner with, you know, it's a quarterly planner instead of the three one-month planners. Because one thing that um, some people said that they liked having the same setup every month. So that is what you will find. But uh, some bonus areas. So you've got your main planner here. And then you've got this journal here and how I'm going to use it is I'm going to use this for tiny journaling because each month you've got a monthly page that links to a weekly page for photo a day blurb a day type of journaling or planning but then 
this journal has, it's a similar setup, but it's got monthly that links to daily pages that are just blank daily pages, and I'm going to use this for book journaling. So this is what I'm going to be doing for, for quarter two book journaling, but you can use this for anything, whatever you want. This could be like, like journal journal, and you know, you could use, you know, this monthly, weekly for, I don't know, maybe you got family plans that you want to keep track of or work stuff. And then this is like your main planner, you know, either one. But so since we're talking about book journaling, this is what I'll be using for quarter two for book journaling. Because you've got the monthly and then you've got a blank daily that you can do anything with. And are you ready for something special that's happening in this new Big Fancy with this? Okay. I'm super excited about it. We have full pages and we have half pages. And when I say half pages, this does not mean like it goes from horizontal to vertical. It means you have a full page or you have a half page that lets you plan over here or book journal or whatever, notes, whatever, and then decorate over here. Or you can like, you know, plan over here and like journal over here with stickers and notes and whatever. So <laughs> I'm ridiculously excited about this. Ridiculously excited about this. So as far as book journaling, like, so Suki says, wow, so we have everything in one place. Yes. Yes. That's what I wanted because I wanted to go back to a like all in one for quarter two, because I like changing things up. So quarter one, I was doing, um, what did I do for quarter one? Oh, well, I'm in, we're in quarter one. So quarter one, I did the builder planner. I was thinking like uh, quarter four. So, okay, so quarter four, I did, I did the big fancy, really loved it, right? And then um, quarter one, I did the, I'm doing the builder planner, which means that I've just been doing like, a little bit of everything just pulling in from all kinds of different planners here and there like this one you know this is from a previous big fancy and then you know like this I built it from all kinds of places and you know like so this is what I did what I'm doing for quarter one let's go to my current page thank you very much so for quarter two because I'm using like this is my main planner but then I also have like a quarterly journal I'm doing here right and then I've got my book journal that I'm doing here so for quarter two I just wanted to combine them all in an all-in-one again and do that so I do have other planners ready to go for the other bundles but I just really like the idea of having an all-in-one so this is how I'm doing my all-in-one there are some bonus areas obviously you gotta have those because I mean of course but <laughs> Super excited. Um, okay, Aaron says, it's the best of both worlds. Thank you. Aaron says, so cool. Um, Aaron says, like, Hannah Montana, LOL. Oh, the flashbacks. My kid loved her. I, look, I used to watch Hannah Montana every once in a while. I'm not going to lie. I did. I did. It was a little weird, but I did. You know. Suki says, you really outdid yourself. This is absolutely amazing. Thank you, Suki. Thank you. Um... I do have like oh I don't I'm trying not to tease you with everything because I'm just so excited. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Um because next next Friday's video will be looking at everything that's coming out for the bundles because there's gonna be lots of options. There's gonna be different planners, there's gonna be obviously like stickers and accessories and all that kind of stuff. I'm doing add-ons this time. So like if you want something but you want to add on something else, there will be some add-ons. If you get a deluxe bundle, it's only going to be available for the deluxe options. Um, so, yeah, but I'm super excited. And I did a poll in the Facebook group, um, since we're also talking about like what you guys want to see for quarter two, I did a poll in the Facebook group the other day about, does anyone want dated planners? Because I feel like maybe I'm missing out on, you know, like, dated planners for some of you guys um so there will be a dated version of the the big fancy 2.0 i'm finishing it up hopefully today i'll be finishing that up um because the undated version it's done but i'm i'm doing a dated version 
and I did a poll about like who is who wants undated any start because like this is undated any start. It works for Monday start people, Sunday start people. I'm a Monday start person. Um, uh, according to the poll in the Facebook group, a majority of you guys are Monday start people. There's a few that are Sunday start. So since I haven't been doing dated planners in a while in the shop. Um, when I do them, I do Monday start, and then if someone wants a Sunday start, like, you ask me and I'll do it, right? Oh, Erin, are you saying you're a Sunday start? You're a Sunday start, Erin? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, Sunday start. I don't understand it. Monday start works for me. I want to keep my weekends together. It makes sense to me. Uh, <laughs> but that's why, I like, your feedback from you guys is so helpful because... Like, it takes a lot to date a planner, especially when you get into one that is, I think, 270-something pages. 277 pages is what the new Big Fancy is up to. So, dating those pages, that's a lot. Um, so, right now, the plan is that there's going to be a Monday start dated version for quarter two of the Big Fancy. Um, once I get everything else done, if I have time, there will be a Sunday start. So if you're wanting a Sunday start big fancy for quarter two, I may go ahead and do like a pre-order option, um, when I do the bundles so that when it's ready, you can have it and you can like get everything else. Um, but that's where your feedback comes in because it's a lot to date that many pages. That's a lot. Um, so that's one reason why I hesitate to do dated planners because, I mean, they're only good for a certain amount of time, whereas, like, the undated version, if you love this so much and you wanted to use it again for quarter three, you, you have it. You're done. You can use it for quarter three. You just add the dates. Whereas, like, a dated one, you're done. That's it. But at the same time, when you have 277 pages, <laughs> you may not want to date all those. You may not want to label your tabs for all those. So I get it. Um, so if you want dated versions, y'all gotta let me know, because, let me know. Um, and says it is, and if they don't sell, that's just that much more frustrating. Yes, exactly. Um, a, a prime example of that is I have a dated daily planner that, I don't even think I have it on my iPad, but I have a dated daily planner that, one, a daily, a, a daily planner, that's a lot. Because, I mean, think of how many days there are. That's a lot. It's not as much for a quarterly planner as it is for a yearly planner. But I have a dated yearly, daily planner that's, like, fully linked. That's a pain in the ass to update for every year. Especially if, like, only two people buy it. So, that's why one reason why I don't do as many dated planners. Because not many people were buying them. Um, so, if you want a dated one, y'all let me know. And if you would like to pre-order one... I can do that, you know, but so right now, Monday start dated because according to the poll, there's more of you guys that want Monday start than Sunday start. So sorry, Aaron. Love you, but so sorry. Um, so if there's more of you that want Sunday start, y'all gotta let me know. Y'all gotta speak up, speak up, people, so I can make sure y'all are getting your stuff. Um, but the plan is to like test out the dated ones, um, probably for more than one version. Um, of planners, not more than one version of the Big Fancy, but, oh, it's just so pretty, I can't not look at it. I can't not look at it. It's just too fucking pretty. I'm obsessed. I give y'all more room for decorating up here, because I, like, pulled the planner down, so there's more, instead of, like, little here, little there, it's more up at the top, so that, you know, decorate. All that. Um, so, prime example, did that. It's from Last of Rituals. Mixed with my stuff. Same thing here. Well, this is all, like, new accessories. But, yeah. Um, mm. And says, I love daily planning, but I make mine each day. That is the advantage of digital planning. I love it. Yes. So, I'm the same way. I love a, a good daily page, but I don't like a linked daily page because I get bored way too easily. And I would rather... Like, change up my daily page, which is why... Oh, here's another teaser of the templates that are coming in this one. 
Um, I would rather change up my daily page based on my mood instead of having one set kind of daily page linked and then I have to either heavily alter it when my mood changes or I'm just stuck with it and I don't like that. Which is also another reason why I went with like blank daily pages for this because I can do whatever I want, right? So, here's a little teaser, a little teaser. Um, so, example of a teaser. Eh. Versus, eh. Because, oh my gosh, how fun is that? I just can't. I just can't. I just, oh my gosh. I need to stop teasing y'all with this because I'm like, just going to get too much. Okay, so, yeah. So, hit me up with messages. Like, hit me up in the Facebook group. There's some posts up there in the Facebook group. If you're looking for something specific... Like, because you guys have seen, like, how many different planners I've done for previous collections. Um, so, like, Pink Queen, for example, if we're looking at planners. Like, if you want a specific kind, like, let me know what you want for the bundles. Um, Aaron says, I just use the daily page when I have a lot to do that day. Yes. Yeah, yeah because I don't, if I don't have a lot, like... I don't want to feel pressured to fill the page, right? Um, so, yeah, totally get that. Totally get that. Um, yeah. Okay. Y'all let me know. So, he says blank is better. See? Yeah. Because then you can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. So, okay. I guess that's all I have. Um, it's, it's a weird combination of book journaling and, like, what to look forward to type of video. Um... But, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, that's where we're at. That's where we're at. And, yeah. Any questions, any requests, any anything before we go? Because it's going to be it's gonna be a wrap. Um, and I've just got lots to do to get ready for this launch. And I also have <laughs> lots of books to read. Do you see this? Like, if I take off, because look, while we're here and we're... Still talking about book journaling. Okay, I'm just trying. Like, I, there's no way I can read this. Oh, let's see how many I can get. No, I just... Mm, yeah. There's no way I can read these extra books. I'm saying extra books because I've got so many ARCs this month. This was supposed to be an easy month for ARCs. And I had this one book that I thought I was, like, not gonna... Uh... Like, I thought it was coming out in October. And, because Amazon said October. I thought it was coming out in October. And I did the arc. I wanted the arc for it. And there was, like, it was the one after this. So, there's, like, three books before. This is, like, the third one. And they, like, I thought I had until October to, <laughs> to read this, basically. And, no, it's coming out the end of this month. And so, now I'm, like, over here, like, trying to catch up on this series and they're all standalones so you can like they're in a series but they're standalones but I wanted to read them and then I just got like I don't know I have room but I still have a lot of books I have to read this month and so I'm just going to move these over here because I know I'm not going to get to read them okay so this one is this, let's see, let's move this here, and this one fits with this one, I'm trying to keep, like, authors and series together, okay, I'm gonna, mm, 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 well, okay, mm, no, we're just gonna rip it through this, and then, let's put this one here, and this one here, because Alta Hensley is one half of this duo, so let's just put this up here, because I know I'm just not going to be able to read these this month. There's just no way. Because I've got to read all of these. So, come on. Okay. I've got to read... <clears throat> I've got to read this one. These are all ARCs. So, I've already read this one. It came out... Stop that. I already read this one. It came out... That's that. I already read that. It came out earlier for me. So, I've got to read all of these. <laughs> So, the pink means I haven't got the arc yet, 
and the teal means I have got it. So I've got to read these. I've got to read these. That's a lot to read. And then I don't have April because April's going to be in the next one, but there's books coming out the first part of April that I am probably will get next week, maybe. I don't know. Since we're talking about book journaling, let's look at this. Let's see. These are all my arcs. <laughs> these are all my arcs. All of these. All of these, people. All of these. And let's see. Today. So I'm just looking at arcs. I've got... Oh. Okay. So... Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know when I'm going to get these. So I may get these this week. Which means I may get these this week. Which means I got to start reading. I got to read, 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 read. Read, read, read. Like when I'm not designing for you guys, I got to be reading to get this stuff going. Because otherwise I don't know how I'm going to finish it all. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. That's as far as I got from my book journaling. Um, and says, so excited for quarter two. I'm loving the half-page templates. Me too, y'all. And let me just say, like, half-page templates, that came from an idea from a customer request, by the way. So this is why your requests are so important. Because someone had asked about, just to give you an example, if I go to the quarterly boards, someone had asked about, um, like, having tabs for the planner accessible from other pages like like even the like the blank pages or the blank areas so like if we're looking at a blank area having your tabs available that was a request that someone like gave me what is the fingerprint on there um so that idea sparked or that request sparked oh why didn't i just click that sparked the half pages you know like uh like that the little half pages and you know, well, half pages. Oh, well, oh, ooh, what is that? Oh, half pages. Yes, yes. So, okay, so that idea, that request for these to be like over here to have blank space but still get back into your planner, that sparked this idea. So, I'm super excited about that, and I hope you guys love that. Um, but yeah, that's the beauty of not having your daily pages linked is that you can still do any of those and pop those in. And, oh, so excited, so excited. Okay, so I just can't, you guys. I just can't. I just can't. It's just so exciting. Okay, all right, that's all I got. That's all I got. Um, I'm going to get the replay for this up for those who haven't been able to join us live. And I've got, oh, teaser. Oh, I almost forgot. Um, those of you who are in the planning Patreon, here's a little teaser for you. Come on, little fella. You can do it. Let's see. Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Let's go here and here and here. Here's a little teaser for you. Are you ready? You guys said in the planning Patreon crew that you love the Enchanted Kingdom theme, so there is a new accessory set coming out to the shop today. It's ready. It's the Good Notes files is left. That's it. So, um, uh, Enchanted Kingdom stickers, accessories, I just, yes, just, yes, you guys. I'm excited. So, these are heading to the shop. Um, later today, or later this morning, probably. Um, but yeah, so that's happening. They are coming, and I'm super, super excited about them. So, look for those. And so cool. So cool. Love them. Love them. So these are heading to the shop this morning, and I love mean, it, look at the snake skin, snakes are creepy as fuck, but I love the pattern, so, there you go, there you go, so, look for those, those are coming, and then, I'm just working on getting all these bundle things ready for you guys, so, lots of stuff, lots, lots, lots of stuff happening, um, 
And then let's see what else is right on the Patreon, the planning Patreon. There's a discussion chat. Our, you know, our weekly discussion chat is happening uh, after this. I'm going to post it after this. And then also the vote for our exclusive live stream is going on right now. So it will go through Saturday evening. Um, I threw in some fun options there. Oh, that's right. Erin says, um, awesome. Okay, have a good weekend and happy St. Patrick's Day. Is that today or Sunday? I can never remember if it's the 15th or the 17th. Um, if you're looking for St. Patrick's Day goodies, by the way, just in case you don't know that, the Kiss Me I'm Irish sets are so good. Okay, Erin says it is Sunday, the 17th. Um, so if you're looking for St. Patrick's Day spread, I got you covered with these stickers so go check those out if you don't have them you totally need them for st patrick's day right so yeah okay both the functional and the decorative because they are just so freaking pretty okay that's it i'm out i'm off to go make all this good shit happen and i will see you guys in the next video all right i gotta awkwardly get up and hit the button to turn this off um okay I'm out. Bye, guys.